Hi everyone. Life is a bit of a juggling act, right? Ever feel like you're trying to keep a bunch of spinning plates in the air? Today let's dive into a topic that's at the heart of our journey with Jesus. Finding that sweet spot between grace, forgiveness, and obedience. Think of God's grace as this mind-blowing gift you didn't earn, but you received anyway. It's like winning the lottery, and you never entered. God's love for us has no strings attached, but here's the kicker. It's not just a pass to do whatever we want. It's an invitation to follow Jesus, to walk in his ways. We're not talking about a rule book here. It's more like a, a love letter. In John 14, 15, Jesus keeps it simple saying, if you love me, you'll do what I say. Obedience is like saying, Thanks for the gift, God. I want to live in a way that shows I appreciate this amazing love. And here's the good part. When we mess up, and <laughs> let's be honest, we all do, God's forgiveness is there. Colossians 3.13 reminds us to forgive others just as we have been forgiven. It's a reminder that we're all in this together, learning and growing. Now let's bring this home. Picture someone around you who's struggling. Do we come down on them like a ton of bricks? No way. Instead, we reflect the grace we've received, offering a helping hand and a heart that's full of forgiveness. But here's the challenge. We also encourage obedience. Not in a gotcha way, but in a way that says, hey, there's something incredible waiting for you when you follow Jesus. Our goal isn't to be judge and jury, but to be like Jesus, who balanced love and truth perfectly. Our kindness and understanding can lead others to the heart of God. Just like Romans 2 and verse 4 says, God's kindness leads us to change. So let's be encouragers and challengers. In a world that can be tough, let's reflect the love that changed our lives. Let's be people who live out grace, forgiveness, and obedience in a way that points others to this incredible journey of following Jesus. Here's the deal. You're not alone in this. We're all figuring it out, no matter how long we've been serving the Lord. So keep your light shining, keep growing, keep encouraging one another. Together, we will do what the Lord has called for us to do.